If there is something bad about the cosmos, it's how difficult it is to understand how large the cosmos is. You can read all the numbers you want on Wikipedia. When the zeros start piling up, your imagination stops working. That's why the best thing we can do is compare these enormous distances to spaces we are used to. And what place has been endlessly traipsed around and explored by millions? Fortnite Island. In this video, we're going to explore what would happen if Fortnite Island was first the size of our solar system, then the size of our galaxy, and finally the size of the universe. This way, every time you play, you'll be able to remember how incredibly small we are. Very well, let's start with the solar system. If I placed the Sun in the middle of the map, and then I placed Neptune, the last planet, in one of the farthest corners, where would each planet be? The Sun would be a really odd size, half a meter tall. If you were to stand next to it, it would reach your knee, more or less. Mercury and Venus would orbit really close to it, 20 and 30 meters away, respectively. They would be barely out of the hill you're standing on. The Earth is not really far either, orbiting 46 meters away, more or less half the path between the two hills. And Mars would be at the edge of the other one. These four rocky planets would be very small compared to the Sun. They'd measure 4 millimeters, more or less half the thickness of the bullets you fire. The other planets, known as gas giants, are between 5 and 10 times bigger than the rocky ones. In game, they would fit perfectly in the palm of your hand. However, they would be very far from the rocky planets. Jupiter's orbit would cross the middle of Dusty Divot. Saturn's orbit would cross the outskirts of the Tilted Towers. Uranus would be in a corner of Pleasant Park, and Neptune would orbit the edges of the island. The craziest thing about condensing such large distances into such a small space is that if you moved around our solar system at the same speed you would move around this Fortnite solar system, you'd break the speed of light, which is the highest speed allowed in our universe. You'd go six times faster than light, more than 100,000 times faster than any human has gone in history. In fact, if you wanted to pretend you're a light ray in Fortnite and move at the speed they go in our solar system, you should be taking a step every eight seconds. It's not a very good strategy if you want to survive. Of course, at this speed, time and space start behaving weirdly. From your screen, you wouldn't notice your slowness because the effects of relativity would make distances shorter and time longer, which would make trips very short from your perspective. But for an outside observer, you'd still move excruciatingly slow. The conclusion is that light is very slow if we take into account how big outer space is. And we have just started. Because what would happen if the Milky Way, our galaxy, was Fortnite-sized? For starters, our solar system would be placed more or less at one-third of its radius in Loot Lakes Island. If you ask me about the size of stars, I'd bring bad news. This time they are a lot smaller than a grain of sand or a pinhead, even smaller than atoms themselves. You couldn't even see the enormous black hole located in the center of our galaxy. Nonetheless, although the stars are very small, there's a really big distance between one star and the next one. They're very concentrated toward the bulge, the center of our galaxy. But if you were to take a step in any direction in our galactic neighborhood, you'd only find eight stars. Add that to the fact that light is super slow. A light ray in this galactic fortnight doesn't move one step a minute or an hour. It's one step every 47 years. Don't pretend you're a light ray in-game, because you'd get killed by the storm before your turn comes. And watch out, because light moves as fast as possible. If you try to move at the same speed our solar system moves around the galaxy, you'll freak out. It would be one step every 64,000 years. But hey, what would happen if the entire universe was Fortnite-sized? Well, we have a problem to start with. There's no evidence to this day that the universe ends somewhere. Actually, it seems endless. There will be soon a video about a donut where we'll explain the details. So our pick for the edge of the universe is its visual limit, the farthest place where we could receive a light ray from today. This is the observable universe. At this scale, our galaxy is tiny, but still noticeable, measuring about half a centimeter, more or less the thickness of your index finger. 
The Milky Way lives with millions of other similar galaxies inside a supercluster. Ours is called Laniakea Supercluster and is more or less the size of the central hill. The rest of the map would be covered by a lot of other superclusters, forming something similar to a web. Now this web is stretching little by little because the universe is expanding. Space and the distances in this so-called cosmic fortnight are growing. If you play today and go all the way from the tilted towers to the center of the map and then play again in 10 billion years, you discover that that distance is now twice the length it was. And yeah, you might think that this expansion is very slow, but you have to take into account that you are not allowed to run like your character does. Here the speed of light equals to a step every 25 million years. This means that every step you take, the path has time to stretch. In fact, the bigger the path, the worse, since there will be more path able to expand. If you're too far away, the expansion of the space may be so strong that you won't be able to reach your destination no matter how fast you walk. It'd be like chasing the storm. The storm will always be faster than you, so you will not be able to cross it unless it stops. In this case, the storm is our galaxy and the expansion of the universe the reason it is growing apart from you. This limit that indicates the places you can or cannot reach no matter how fast you go is called cosmological event horizon. Every player in their respective map area has their own horizon, and in this comparison, it has a radius of half a kilometer, of half a kilometer. This horizon is very real in our universe, and in fact, its existence sentences us to a very dark future. But we'll talk about that in another video. And you know, if you want more science, you just have to subscribe. And thanks for watching.